Hello, welcome to the Unritalin Show. I'm Dr. Yannick Poli from UnritalinSolution.com. Today we are answering the question, who develops ADHD? Well, if you look at the medical literature and you look at a science called epidemiology, you realize that it is estimated that between 5 and 10 percent of the population suffers from ADHD. Now, this is the same for children and adults. Obviously, the number of people that will be diagnosed with that disorder will be determined by the criteria that we use to diagnose those disorders. So, this has kind of changed over time. But overall, it is estimated that between 5 and 10 percent of the population have symptoms of ADHD. If you look also at the medical literature, it will say that mostly ADHD is genetics. But you have to realize that genetics is just the loaded gun. Something has to press the trigger, and that something is the environment. So who develops ADHD? Well, obviously there will be a genetic predisposition to it, but then there is environmental forces that will have to come on top of that genetic predisposition to trigger the problem. And those environmental factors are many. For example, and just to cite a few, and if you want more information about that, you can come on our website www.unretailingsolution.com. We have a lot more information about that. But essentially, uh, you can have prenatal factors. For example, if as a mother you drink alcohol or small cigarette during pregnancy, this is a higher risk for developing ADHD. If the child is born with a low birth weight, this is a predisposing factor. If the child has a traumatic birth where they had to use forceps or uh, a lot of pulling on the head or that kind of thing, this is another risk factors. Some other studies have shown, for example, if as a small child, uh, the child watches uh, television a lot, this is a risk factor. It doesn't mean it will cause it, but this will be a predisposing factor. So, you have to understand that when we say who develops ADHD, well, we cannot you know, say beforehand that child's going to have it or that child won't get it, but you have to realize that there is a genetic predisposition and on top of it there's a lot of environmental factors that will come together to increase the risk to develop a ADHD. Now, in the next uh, series of video that we're producing here in the Unritalin show, we'll go into more details about uh, you know, the genetics and the risk factors um, that are uh, participating to ADHD, as well as some of the natural solutions that we can use to help children with ADHD. So, stay tuned for our next episode, and I shall see you soon. To get 20 more videos like this and two great free bonuses, visit unritalinsolution.com slash forward free.